my name is Shelby and welcome to my channel Pages to Churn. Today I will be reviewing First Life by Gina, yes Gina Showalter. For a minute I thought her name was Gemma. I cannot read today either apparently. But it's by Gina Showalter and I was so excited to read this one because let's look at this cover. Hold it close to the camera so you can see it. Hopefully it's focusing. And again, this is a library book, so the cover might be a bit glary, but isn't this co cover just absolutely gorgeous? I thought so, and so even reading this book was an easy choice for me because the cover art and the premise was amazing. So basically the premise of this book is, is that you and you are, you're, there's two lives. So there's a first life and then your second life. So first life is considered just to be a dress rehearsal, and then there's two realms that you can go to after you die, Trochia or Myriad. And then there's a one between called Many Inns that if you don't sign either of those, you go there. And Many Inns is a terrible place, while Myriad and Trochia have their own good things and downsides. And so everyone alive has to choose where they want to go after they die. And so that's where the main character comes in. Her name's Tenley Lockwood or 10 as she likes to be called. She's obsessed with numbers and I actually like that about her character. And so she really does not know what these two groups she wants to join with, Myriad or Trochia. Her parents really want her to be part of Myriad and so, and she just doesn't want to sign with them. So she's sent to this place that's like a asylum, a prison of sorts. But they try to they do all sorts of things to try to get her to sign with Myriad. And it's just amazing to see this story unfold. You know, I was kind of disappointed with the main character, Ten, because honestly there wasn't much of anything to differentiate her from any other heroine you read about in any book. Basically take away the obsession of the numbers, and I think she'd fit right in with Katniss Everdeen in The Hunger Games. You know, no adjustments needed. She's pretty much the same person. And... I was really expecting something different. I mean, this is a very new genre. It's a very, n not a new genre, but a very new um, book and a very new concept. And so I was excited. So I expected a great heroine to front run this. And 10 just missed the mark for me. And so another reason I gave this book 3.5 stars, as my little thumbnail suggests, is because... I just didn't like the beginning part of this book. It was really slow for me. This not a whole ton happened. I don't like books that spend forever explaining, okay, this happened and this happened because that happened. Here's where we are now and this is my life. And I don't like books that really take a long time to explain things like that and this one did. And so it just took me until the middle until I was finally really absorbed into this book. So about page 200 is when I finally got into it. And it was really worth reading those last 266 or so pages because there was just so max action. It was really great. I just wish the beginning part of this book matched up with that, if that makes sense. Also, another reason I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars is there's a lot of terms that weren't explained until further on in the book. So I was constantly flipping back and forth between things, trying to figure out, okay, I knew that was mentioned before, when was that mentioned? And then it would finally make sense. As so I was there, I'd be like, oh, but I didn't appreciate having to go back and forth, back and forth, trying to figure out, okay, what does this even mean here? So this is a really good book, um, aside from those things I just talked about. I really liked the romance that's here. There's I thought there was going to be a love triangle, and for a while there was. And so it was really interesting to see that unfold, and everything that went along with that. And I just really liked how that entire romance unfolded. It felt really natural. There was a bit of insta-love in the beginning, but it got faded pretty quickly and became a very natural relationship. And I really cannot wait until the second book. I think it comes out in February sometime. But just because of the way this book is, if you haven't read it yet, here's the cover once again. If you haven't read this book yet, I'd highly recommend waiting until 2017 to read it so you can have the second one close at hand. Because I know because of the way this book is, I'm going to have to reread it to figure out what's going on for the second book, which is kind of other things I don't appreciate because there just wasn't enough in here to really leave a lasting impression on me. 
And so hopefully the second book does not suffer from second book syndrome because I will be so sad if that is the case. But anyways, I do recommend this book even though I gave it only 3.5 out of 5 stars. If you've read it, please comment down below and let me know what you thought about it. Subscribe to my channel to see more awesome reviews. Happy reading and have a great day.